YouTube family, what's going on? YC MJ here with another video, and today in this tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at the cloning effect. Basically, what you're gonna need for this is a camera. Any camera you have, any lens you have will work for this, and you need the tripod. First, we're gonna be going over the filming side of things, and then we're gonna be taking a look at the post-production side of things, so let's dive straight into it. This is a very simple effect. First things first, though, you need to make sure that your lens is on manual focus. Do not have your lens on autofocus. This will not work for this effect. Just make sure your lens is on manual focus. That's first things first. Second thing that you need to do is you need to film yourself in an environment for an extended amount of time. However long you want this effect to last for, just make sure you film a couple seconds over that to make sure you have enough footage to mask in the other shots that you're gonna do. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over here and I'm just gonna sit here for a second, a couple seconds. Um, I'll speed this portion up, but basically what you do is you film yourself in one spot and then you film yourself in another spot and uh, you're just gonna mask in in post-production. So I'm gonna sit for a second, I'm gonna speed this up and then I've, I'm gonna switch over to this side and then I'm gonna sit there for a second and then we'll dive into the post-production side of things. So you could have either filmed two separate clips or you could have just recorded one long clip like I did. The only reason that I tend to do that is because uh, it could have been something minor that uh, messed up the clip like you hitting the record button and it could have shifted the camera a little bit which will kind of sort of screw this. Another thing that may actually screw this is uh, you have to make sure your lighting is the same. So if you plan on doing this outdoors, make sure it's not on overcast day where the clouds are going over and the light is co uh, constantly changing. You want your lighting to be exactly the same. So if you're going to be doing this outside, you need to make sure that you're doing this fairly fast because lighting changes quick outdoors. We're going to jump over into the post-production side of things. Let's do it. Here we are on the post-production side of things. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro right now. I'm gonna go through and show you all how to get this done simply um, and basically have it still, but I'm also gonna dive into a portion of this in Adobe After Effects so I can uh, show you all how to put some camera shake on this. So if you're if you're just interested in getting this, uh, like a still shot, like it's on a tripod, then uh, after the um, Premiere Pro side of things, then you can just X out of the video. But if you're interested in getting a more realistic look on this with some uh, nice camera shake, then uh, just stick around for the After Effects portion of this. So let's dive straight into it. Um, here we are uh, in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna drag this in and start my um, start my sequence, just like you would with any other thing. Let me turn this down so y'all actually can't hear this. All right, so let me find the portion of this. Why is the audio still on this? Hold on real quick. Output, input. All right, I'm just gonna mute this so that I can hear it. All right, so I'm gonna find the portion of this where I was sitting. Um, all right, so we'll just cut this right here. We'll use this portion of me sitting over in the corner, and then we're gonna scrub through and find the other portion of me. So we'll go to right when I walk out of frame. Which is right here. Boom. All right, so cool. So we'll start this right here. And basically, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to mask the image out. So with this top clip, the clip of me coming in and sitting into uh, sitting on the couch next to me, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go to the effects control tab part of it right here. We're going to click on the square right here. This is going to create a four point polygon mask for the image. So we click on that. And then let's zoom this out to 10% so we can actually see the edges of the image. So basically what we're doing is we're creating a square or a shape of the image that we actually want to keep. So we'll do this around the middle of the image. So this will be the part of it that we want to keep. All right, cool. So we have that. Zoom in fit. All right, so click off of that. As you can see right here on the image, you can see a clear uh, a clear color change right here between these two images. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on this and you wanna up the, uh, the mask feather. So we'll up the mask feather just so this is not as noticeable. Um, I think that's pretty cool right there. Around 300 is cool. Um, again, you're just gonna want to do this until the the line between the two images is not as noticeable. All right, so let's play back and we'll see when I come in the frame. Ah, this is choppy. I'm getting a bit of lag on my computer. So I'll scrub through and you can see right here I come in the frame and the line between the two images is not noticeable. So 
we have the two. If I run it through this, you can see it's smooth, but I'm just gonna show you all. All right, cool. So like I said, if this is all you wanted to do with your two images is um, have it a still shot like on the tripod, then you can just X out of the video and drop it a like right now. I appreciate y'all for checking it out, but I'm gonna go in and briefly show you all how to add some camera shake to this to make it look a little bit more realistic in After Effects. So um, you cut off the portion of the clips that you don't want or to wherever the end of the portion of the effect that you want and you select both your clips and you right click and you go to nest let's name this mass mask 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 all right cool so we have a new nest right here right click on it and go to replace with after effects composition all right so we're here in after effects and we have our mask and an actual timeline and stuff like that basically what this is going to do is whatever you affect whatever effects or uh things that you do to this clip and you save over it it's just going to go back into premiere and it's basically going to be there so whatever you do to affect this clip it's going to happen in uh premiere uh, as well so um here we are we have the clip and basically what we're going to do is we're going to add the wiggler effect to it but before we do that we have to add in a few keyframes so click this drop down right here and go to transform we'll add in a position keyframe right here and then i guess we can uh, not actually gonna mean to do that. I guess we can scrub to the end and also add a position keyframe here as well. So we'll add a keyframe right there as well. Zoom us out a bit. All right, so select both of these. Select both of these keyframes. And we'll go to our effects right here and we'll type in wiggle. If you're not on Adobe Premiere, see no, if you're not if you're not on After Effects CC, I believe it's 2017. That's what I'm on right now, and you just have the Wiggler effect. That's what you're gonna want to use. But this, uh, basically, this new Premiere, no, this new After Effects, it separates it separates it into um, several different ones. So the one that you're gonna want to use is the position one. So you take this and you drag it straight onto your sequence, your nested sequence, and. You're gonna make you're gonna want to make sure that you check on motion blur as well because that's gonna give it more of a, a realistic look so basically what this is is it just adds some camera shakes to your footage so um, right here you can adjust the the amount of the speed of the wiggles and then you can adjust how far you want the wiggles to go so I'm just gonna add this in and make it very minor and subtle um, let's do like a 200 and I'll leave it at one because I don't want it to shake that much If you were looking for more of an intense effect, you would basically up your speed And you would also up the amount or how much it moves as you can see right here on the outer edges It does uh, move the image. So what you want to do is you just scale it up until you no longer see those Then we'll go through the preview just to see how this looks In terms of amount of shake that this is adding to the clip. This may be a bit much. I'm actually gonna down this just a little bit. Let's drop this down to like a 150. Drop this down to a 150. Let this render up a little bit. I'm gonna fast forward this section just to get a full render in. I'm gonna try to check it out. All right, cool. So let's check this out now and see how this looks. If you go through your preview and, and realize that you didn't scale it up enough, you can just simply add uh, more of a scale on After Effects or you can do a backup premiere. I think this looks pretty cool. Um, it's actually doing a bit more uh, shaking than I would have wanted it to. I would probably just drop this wiggle speed down to like a 0.5 or something, but you get the gist of it. So once you get it to the actual way that you like it to look, um, you, put, you just hit save, you hit command S, or you go up here and you hit file save. And whatever you do to this, it's going to happen in Premiere as well. So after that, you can quit After Effects and get back here in Premiere. No, I didn't need to do that. Close. Um, so you're back here in Premiere, and you basically just render through whatever effects that you did to the footage to make sure it worked, and it should. So this is how you do the cloning effect, um, and this is also how you add a bit of camera shake to it to make it look more realistic. And, uh, you know, just a little bit more diverse and uh, better than it actually just sitting on the tripod. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I'm going to check y'all out in my next video. Drop a like, peace.